why it's so relevant and important to a man like LeBron James to have his son play in the NBA and, and them, them to get a chance to play together. Um, this is not about basketball. And I don't want to run with the narrative that black men aren't present in the household and et cetera, et cetera. Those numbers can be jaded a little bit um, and misconstrued. Um, but the reality is some of us did grow up in in, in fathers, fatherless households. LeBron is about my age. I'm 35, almost 36. He's 37. So a lot of us experience trauma, you know, systemic things, prison system, et cetera, et cetera, things like that. But LeBron playing with his son is not about basketball solely. It's not solely about basketball because obviously LeBron has the resources and the money to have his kids trained by the best, learn the game at an early age and and be, you know, equipped to reach, you know, high levels of professional sports, regardless of how good we are, how good how good he he is. Um, but I think it's more it speaks more to uh, the accomplishment of him as a as a father who didn't have that guidance growing up, being able to rewrite the script and um, position his son to to have the opportunity to uh, fulfill the family business and do it in such a manner where they can line things up and do it together. Um, because money doesn't solve trauma. It doesn't solve, it doesn't make you a better person. It just exposes who you already were, regardless. And we're not judging anyone. But you take Jalen Rose, for for example. I believe his dad played in the NBA, and I don't even know if he had ever met his dad. So it's not about just about basketball. It's about the person that you are, um, prioritizing what's important to you, creating a, a, a positive environment for your kids to flourish. If Bronny didn't want to play basketball, I'm sure, I'm sure LeBron would have supported him. No pun intended to the, you know, Space Jam New Legacy movie, but it's not just about basketball. It's important. It's, it's a cultural relevance to um, to people like myself that grew up in these these environments. And it's not a knock against black men because, you know, we are present as well. It's not just, it, it, it's just not so simple like that. It's way more context to, to some of the things that happened to us in our, you know, in, in the 80s, 70s, 90s, et cetera, et cetera. But um, I wish him the best, man. I think it's, uh, it's a great, great, um, I hate to use the word story, um, but America loves a great story. But I, I just think that it, it's a great example for for other people, future future generations and people who are growing up in this era. So it doesn't have to be pro sports, but just understanding that you have the ability to tap in and rewrite the script and um, set an example for those that come behind you, especially your own children.